This is David Reed for GateWorld.net, and I'm here with Mr. Tom McBeth, Colonel Harry Mayborn, ex-colonel, ex-criminal, ex-convict, and now resident of another planet. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little long-winded intro there for you, but uh, this guy, man, what a history you've had on this show. Did you have any idea you'd be living with this character as long as you have? Uh, well... Uh, when I auditioned for it, they said it was possibly recurring, uh, and then the first, the first uh, couple of years, I think I only did one a year, mm -hmm. maybe two. But it was, he was just the small pain, pain in the ass, an ID guy in a uniform, and a pretty relatively boring character to play. Uh, uh -huh. Luckily, they kept writing stuff, and I got to fall out of uniform. Right, right. Do you like the direction that they went with that? Uh, I've never really... Yeah, I suppose I do like it. Um, uh, I'm only hesitating because it, it's a very small part of my life, uh, Stargate. And over the six or seven years, I've only done ten episodes. So it does not consume me. Um, uh, I enjoy going back there as an actor and uh, working with those group of people uh, a lot. And I'd love to do it more. Um, but the character only does raise his ugly head every uh, well once a year or twice a year and last year not at all mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. what's the uh, single most rewarding thing about being a part of the Stargate phenomenon I guess a couple of years ago was uh, was I'd, I'd done enough episodes by then and there were, there were enough in reruns <clears throat> Uh, I was sitting in Penticton, which is a small town uh, inside in the what they call the Okanagan in British Columbia, <clears throat> having brunch on a Sunday, and two young boys came up and asked if if I was Colonel O'Neill. <laughs> really? And I killed myself laughing and said yes. And I, we had a very nice talk and a chat and. They watched every Saturday morning. They watched two different shows: that Stargate and something else. I can't remember what it was. And it was their favorite shows, and uh, <clears> there <throat> was it was an absolute delight. Also, going to the conference over, in, I went to the conference a couple of years ago in London, and <clears throat> I was just amazed. I was amazed at at the sort of the fan reception because I'd never been to a conference before. And, uh, the fan reception in in London was just phenomenal not just, not just for me but for the show and for the for Amanda who was there and Michael who was there uh, it was phenomenal this group of 1500 people that oh, wow. were partying for a weekend and I'm sure the party is an attraction as well 